At shops that sell milk across Kigali city, a box of Inyanji milk packets is sold for 9,000 rendon francs, and in other shops, it's 8,000 or 7,500 rendon francs. Vendors say they set the price based on how much they were charged by wholesalers. We used to wholesale a packet of milk at 4,800 or 5,000 or 5,200, but now the price went up to 7,000 and 8,000 rand and francs. It's difficult for us because when a customer comes and we tell them that the price has gone up, they say that they will no longer buy milk. We were not aware that Inyanya was still selling its milk at the normal price. It is the suppliers that had increased the price. Some milk collection centers out in the provinces sometimes use bicycles, motorcycles and even private vehicles to transport milk to Kigali City. Due to its high demand, the Inyanya Industries Limited has issued a statement stating that although dairy production had declined in recent days due to the dry spell it never increased milk prices various agencies including the ministry of agriculture and animal husbandry and the ministry of trade the rwanda standard board and the rwanda institute for conservation agriculture competition have conducted a review on this issue of milk prices mugabe emmanuel head of rika explains what they saw in the review <laughs> There have been cases where wholesalers have sold milk for prices much higher than what they officially indicate, issuing invoices at regular prices. Normally a packet of milk costs 5,000 or 5,500 random francs, which is the price the company has made public, whereby if a vendor finds it expensive in one place, he or she can always get it elsewhere at a lower price. The Ministry of Trade and Industry revealed that in the audit, it had identified nine wholesalers who were wholesaling milk from the Inyanya Factories Limited and sell it to retailers at a high price and issue invoices that do not match the amount paid. The Director of Domestic Trade, Karangwa Kasia, says the audit is being carried out across the country. In the course of the investigation, we found that distributors from Inyanja Industries Limited were the ones who were supplying the milk to various places and raising prices and doing it in a way that made it hard for them to get caught. Three of them are from Nyarujenje, two from Kichuchiro District, and the other four are from Gasabo. All of them were fined 19.5 million random francs, and this was done under the customer protection law. The Rwanda Agricultural Board estimates that in 2020, 891,326 tons of milk were produced. From airport to June 2021, 132 milk collections nationwide received 21,517,650 liters during the summer. From July to September 2021, 132 milk collections received 17,214,120 liters, which means that milk production has decreased by 25% compared to the months before.